Guten Abend. Now it's time for some epic doom coming from Germany. This one is called Lord Vigo, which I have been told is a name taken from Ghostbusters 2 movie. Well, not only movie that is related to this one is Ghostbusters 2, but also, as you can pretty much already figure out before I say, Blade Runner is right here also. So kind of a two more or less classics or shall we say cult classic movies are here included on this album. And that combined with German Epic Doom is a unusual combo. Unusual combo indeed. Anyway, Lord Vigo is here with the third album. Here you have this Blade Runner stuff all over. It's more or less a kind of a theme album, if you will. And that is made clear throughout the album with spoken parts, album names, texts here. So all that is pretty much here. So in case you just happen to be a Blade Runner fan, well, this is just an album you need to check it out whether or not you're a doom metal um, fanatic. Now, doom metal and especially epic doom is kind of a hard genre to get into because first of all you have to have this kind of a liking to uh, long songs that is you know this kind of lengthy songwriting where songs can take quite a lot of time you also have to have this kind of a passion for vocals which are kind of a high and mighty and not just your typical heavy metal singing not to mention other styles but more like this kind of a organic feeling, the spacious kind of atmosphere. Everything is big, majestic, well, literally epic, I guess. But some bands do it differently and Lord Vigo is, in a way, one of those bands. Because this is not just epic tune, but kind of a blend with uh, kind of a new wave of uh, British heavy metal, kind of a traditional heavy metal, if you will, but also that epic stuff but not with songs that last like 15 or 20 minutes. Actually, these are rather, how to put, not exactly short, but more like um, something more normal metal song, if you will. And I think that's a good thing here. I mean, you can build up, you know, these kind of epic songwriting parts, these kind of uh, tracks which are just majestic and big and all that stuff without having to go 20 minutes through kind of the same theme. And because this is also a theme album, well, this kind of approves my point. Now, also what you need to understand when it comes to Epic Doom is that you don't necessarily have those kind of individual killer riffs or chorus parts that give you the sing-along feeling. And I'm in a kind of tough place. I mean, I love hit songs as much as I love some raw black metal or technical death metal. I don't have what it takes to enjoy Epic Doom so much. So I'm totally wrong guy to review this and I hope that you take that in, uh, into account when you're judging me with your comments. I'm merely pointing out that I'm not exactly into the style, yet I try to get out of something of each and every album I listen to. And Lord of Vigo is one of them which I like on some parts and some parts are just totally too much for me anyway let's take a look at the band's uh, metal archive site for some basic information as you can see relatively new band less than 10 years old and, and all that stuff three albums out of which this dance de noir black dance uh, is the latest one and uh, here you can see that this information about Ghostbusters 2 information is right here as it was with the promo letter and um, you pretty much saw already the track listing, which is very much pointing to a Blade Runner movie. Uh, this is how the side A is, by the way, like said, like done here with the LP. And this first six tracks, it is like here also. It's actually called Off World AD, and it's kind of a big concept in a way, but it's divided into individual tracks, which I think is always a nice thing to do. But the whole album is still nevertheless about Blade Runner. You will basically figure out more than anything with the last track, which actually ends with an outro, uh, which is, you know, 
done to kind of a, as a tribute to the movie. Um, this and beautiful cover art included, which I think is just great. This is very, very cool cyberpunk cover, very beautiful. Um, it's a kind of interesting combo to have kind of a sci-fi and a ghost movie and then Epic Doom put all together, but why not? I mean, you don't necessarily need those dragons and majestic swords and kingdoms and castles and kings and queens to be included this kind of epic romanticism, but you can also go deep into the cyberpunk and still make epic doom metal songs about it. Now, the thing which really strikes out with this band and especially this album is the vocalist. It's very likely that you will end up like worshipping the guy and just loving the voice or disliking it quite a bit because it's really hard to get into. It's kind of unique, which is a great thing, by the way, especially if you just happen to uh, like the style. But if not, it, it is one of like, um, it's like a King Diamond, Merciful Fate kind of a thing that unless you are in it, you're gonna just uh, frown upon it. And unfortunately, that really happened to me. Even though I gave uh, quite a few listen to uh, this album, Vince Clorthos style isn't something that I can just get into. There's something which makes it kind of a... Uh, I don't, it's not necessarily weird, but I don't even know the word for Finnish, not to mention in English what I'm trying to say here about these vocals. It's kind of a uh, high-pitched, but not so uh, not so high and kind of screamy as King Diamond, but something that goes really high and kind of uh, to a note which is like giving me this weird feeling like, ah, oh, don't go there, it's too much. But like I said, it's not about his lack of skill or the feeling, the passion he's trying to uh, make here, because I think that's all right. But anyway, this is something that probably gonna divide the audience in two. Now, the other thing which is all about Epic Tomb Metal here is that none of these songs are really that memorable. It's more about this kind of atmosphere, which is actually pretty nice. But then again, it kind of lacks this kind of... Uh, this thing you would like to put your fing fingers into. It's like as if you're grasping a piece of glass. You're like, cat trying to do that. It's like so slippery. You really don't have those hooks, those small holes or crevices or whatever you try to get a hold on. You just go with the atmosphere, slide on that piece of glass. And if you like that kind of a sliding atmosphere feeling, it's all rare because I mean, it is kind of epic doom with no gimmicks, no bullshit, no um, extra things, you know, no parts or ideas or elements which are not part of the thing here. And as such, this is very simple album. It's from the very beginning to the very end, it's very much the same style. There are no surprise elements like, okay, this is something that I didn't see coming. But it's, it's just like epic doom trip, both in good and bad. So in case you just happen to be hardwired, kind of a wavelength for this kind of music, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like this album because, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the production as such, and even those kind of a Man of War vibes with the music is actually quite nice. But for me, because like I said, I am not the type who really gets so easily into this kind of music. It doesn't matter how skilled the vocalist is, doesn't matter how powerful the production is, if I feel like I'm sliding instead of, you know, taking into these twists and turns and, I don't know, even guitar solos or weird technicalities, then I'm not having the feeling there. I don't feel the speed, I don't feel the groove, I don't feel the flow. Maybe just wrong genre for me, but for Epic Doom fanatics, I think this is definitely worth checking out. So once again, it totally depends on your interest towards the genre, I guess. Um, not definitely among the best in the genre, but not too bad either. So with this information, you decide whether to go for the band camp and listen for your for the music yourself. But in case you just happen to be not exactly allergic, but kind of like uh, resistant to Epic Doom, don't give this a chance. It won't change your mind. Anyway, all things being said, do your clickety click work, listen or not listen not, it's up to you. But this is all said about the album. Take a look and I hope you enjoy. Take 